Okay, so what I have here with me now is one of several skeletons that we found from the excavations here at Stony Camp, and these date to, to the late Iron Age, really at the period just as the Romans come to Britain, and this is evidence, as you can see here from the, the cut across the skull here, that there was actually uh, this, this person met a violent end and it's probably the site of the battle which Tacitus records in 47 AD when the Romans are fighting a battle in this part of Britain and they, they basically in, in, slaughtered the Iceni inhabitants of, of, a, of a settlement that is very much thought to be the site here at Stony Camp and then that and if we can confirm that, that makes Stony the first part of the whole of Britain that enters the historical record. So it actually makes it an incredibly important uh, site and finding. And this evidence, backed up with historical evidence, is the sort of things that we're going to need to, to confirm that, uh, that fact, I suppose. Um, it also reminds us of the, that when the Romans come to Britain and the, the fate of the Iceni and the Celtic tribes here was very violent and very deadly at, at some times here and and this is a this is a child I'm not even sure um, if it's a boy or a girl because of the age of it it's maybe two or three years old um, and this was uh, and this is a sort of the, the tangible evidence that the that the Roman invasion isn't uh, is anything but uh, but peaceful okay so this is the skull here we call it the stony skull and in archaeology, human skeletal remains provide a huge amount of information for archaeologists. So, as well as obviously the objects and artifacts that we find on sites, a skeleton can tell us obviously how old the person was, generally if it's a boy or a girl, a man or a woman, um, perhaps how they've died, what their diet is, if they had any diseases. All this information is recorded in your, in your skeleton. And at the stony skull here has a lot of information which sheds light on the history of the site here. And you can see here, there's an incredibly sharp cut across the skull here. And obviously human skulls don't aren't cut this way and this is because a sharp bladed weapon from looking at the x-rays and the pathology has cut through the skull of what is a very young child and um, it's it's so young that even looking at the at the skull and, and looking at the rest of the skeleton we can't tell if it's a boy or a girl it's probably two or three years old and um, we get that information from the from the teeth um, and also from the, from the growth of the bone structures um, and obviously this person died instantaneously from, from when their, 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 their skull was struck by the, almost certainly a sword, probably a gladius, um, and there's no bone growth around the side of the cut here. Um, you will find on skeletons, even skulls, that you might have a, a, a hole or a, and, and the bone will be growing back in again, and that demonstrates that the person actually lived, lived through that injury. Um, this one we know absolutely that this was the cause of death. Um, with, with regards to the rest of the skeleton, there's very few small, small parts of it and the skeleton was buried in the side of a ditch. It wasn't, it didn't receive a proper burial. It was sort of discarded and thrown away and that also adds evidence to, uh, supporting evidence to the idea that this was the site of the battle between the Iceni and the Romans in 47 AD. So very important bit of, of archaeology. In fact, one of the most important artifacts in Cambridgeshire, to be honest, because this is perhaps evidence that makes, that, that confirms the stony as being the first part of Cambridge, of Britain, uh, the first site in Britain to enter the historical record, making Stony Camp one of the most important in the country. With, with the skull here, we, uh, in our various excavations across the entirety of the site, we dug trenches, and this the skull here was found in a trench, in a ditch, in the centre of the camp, sort of over in that sort of direction, so, so not, not, not here near the edge, um, quite central to the site, and is one of um, quite a few skeletons that we do now, now realise are actually here on the site. Um, again, uh, shedding further light to the, to the history of the, of the, of the settlement and, and its end.